Gary here today with another video. Today is actually day one of our island trip. Uh, we're gonna be staying over in the Vancouver Island for the next five days, uh, starting today, which is Thursday, and returning back into mainland on uh, Monday. We had an early start today. Uh, it was actually around like, our uh, departure time was around like 6.25. Um, actually running on 30 minutes of nap <laughs> uh, I know my I know myself I'm probably gonna sleep uh, you know like a little bit too much so I just decided to uh, I decided to just you know stay up and uh, just deal with the consequences of maybe taking a nap later on in the afternoon once we find camp we arrived at Nanaimo around like an hour an hour and a half ago uh, we all met up over uh, close by the Ferry terminal uh, at a Tim Hortons, and then now we're actually on our way to our destination, uh, which is our first stop here. I'm actually just following along and yeah, um, seeing where we're we're headed. I think we might be camping near a beach. That's what I heard. Uh, clearly, I wasn't paying attention, but uh, yeah. So that's what I heard is that we're going to be camping by a beach today. In this weekend trip, we actually joined with a big group. I think we have about ten rigs. Uh, here with us right now and uh, yeah I'll introduce most of their rigs and I'll probably you know walk around camp and uh, get them you know they'll probably go check them out during that time and yeah um, right now we're just driving on the highway and I'll uh, catch back with you guys in a little bit jump on here and actually just mentioned that this is actually the first time I'm actually heading up the northern part of Vancouver Island I've actually never been in this area uh, <laughs> I think the only place I've been to when I was a kid was actually Victoria so um, yeah this is a new adventure for me and uh, uh, I'm looking forward to it I've always actually wanted to go to Vancouver Island and check it out but just never had a, a good group like this to actually uh, explore it. So um, we're actually just taking a uh, a break from all this driving. I think we've been driving for almost like an hour now. Uh, we're just taking a quick break in the rest area. And then we're going to venture on uh, back on the road to our first destination. Since we're here, let's introduce everyone on the convoy. There's Steve, Sterling, Anna with Leah, Troy and Kaylee, Alan and Christina, Kyler, Logan, Jackie and Sophia, and last but not least, Maddie. What did do? <laughs> 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 All right, time to get back on the road.
Hey guys, we actually just took a lunch break over here at Campbell River. You know, just have a quick bite to eat. And yeah, we're back on the road soon, headed to our destination. See you guys in a bit. Hey guys, we're on the highway going towards the trailhead of the main of Asar of where we're gonna be camping tonight. While driving on this highway, there's actually a lot of uh, beautiful scenery, kind of reminiscent of actually Squamish because of uh, how lush of uh, you know trees and everything uh, is out here. Uh, it's very beautiful. Uh, like I said earlier, this is the first time I've been in this area and um, so far so good. I'm enjoying the scenery and yeah, it uh, seems like not a lot of people are driving on this highway uh, to get this spot. Hopefully it's secluded and uh, just our group is going to be there uh, for tonight. Earlier today it was actually a bit gloomy when we were around like the Nanaimo area but as we got higher up, in, higher up north uh, it's actually gotten sunnier now. Uh, it's about 23 degrees outside so uh, it's very beautiful. Anyways guys, I'm gonna keep on driving and focus on the road and I'll uh, catch you guys in a little bit. After driving for a couple hours, we finally arrived at our destination. Before we set up camp, we all took some photos of our rigs. Alright, time to set up camp. After setting up camp, we all just made dinner, huddled around, eating and drinking, and by midnight, we called it a night. I woke up the next day to a beautiful morning. Of course, the best way to start the morning is to make some coffee. For the first time in a long time, Asha made breakfast. And you already know, it had to be baking. Like leave it 
in the air. Hey guys, uh, just checking in. Uh, day two of this island trip and it's pretty chilled right now. Um, it's in the middle of the afternoon. Uh, everybody woke up. You guys probably saw it already. I had breakfast. First time in a while I actually had breakfast. Usually I just have coffee, which is what I had, um, but thought it'd be uh, appropriate to have uh, some bacon breakfast. Afternoon right now, um, it's probably gonna get hot and honestly, I'm still kind of tired from all the, the driving that we did uh, during day one. So I'm probably gonna take a quick nap and uh, probably wake up later and um, start hanging out with the, the rest of the crew. You guys can see it already earlier. Man, this this place is really nice. Uh, probably gonna come back here again in the future. Um, but yeah, it's definitely one for the books for me. Just a thought, actually, um, as the waves are crashing on the shore there. Just a thought, like, man, as negative as the pandemic happened, I think the one positive thing is um, that happened during this whole time for me, especially, and a few people here, um, especially the crew, is that uh, it kind of got got us out of the norm and kind of got us to um, explore BC a little bit more, which is uh, what I'm thankful for. I truly enjoy visiting all these new spots that I would never have gone to if it wasn't for this whole thing that happened the past year. Um, I know as much as it is uh, a negative situation, um, some positive still happened. Anyway, so uh, nap time for me right now, guys. I'll check you guys out later. After my nap, we all just hung around by the beach. <laughs> oh, the Jets! The Jets! The Jets! <laughs> all right, now do 10 push ups. Right there. Which one? The white one? Oh, yeah, the right. white white one. The further one. Like, no, okay, so you see the exact same color? Yeah. One closer, one further? All right, make it challenging. Go by the water, guys. Alright, let's go. Ready? Set. On go, right? On go, right? Yeah, on go. Ready? Set. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Ready? Set. Go. Oh, it's me! <laughs> Alright, loser do the 50 push-ups. Okay, ready? I laughed though. Huh? I think Quad's a sleeper. Oh! Holy shit! Wow! <laughs> Competition! Go home! Oh, that's pretty close! Dude, that's pretty far! Oh, that's pretty easy! Dude, oh! Holy s***, this guy's a beast! Oh, that's pretty far! Let's see it! Hold up, hold up! Hold up! Oh, I know! I know, I got that one! <laughs> there you go. Try wins. Oh, oh, that's pretty far. No. Jesus. <laughs> What's the one having such massive testicles? Oh. <laughs> pretty painful. Uh, roughly. Out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Are we doing a two point Out of the way. Out of the way. All right, can we go like? Okay. That's Ready? all I want. Did he play baseball? No. Okay. Ready? So on that line. Yeah. Right, let's go. One, two. Oh, oh, oh that was close. That was close. Dang. That was pretty close. I want to throw, but I don't think I can beat him. I, I don't even want to try. <laughs> Mine's just going to hit the shore. Yeah, yeah. I've already tried throwing. Holy. <laughs> yeah, that, that's as me. That, that's as far as I would do. Made me feel better of myself. Oh. Okay. Nope. Uh oh. Huh? 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 Hu
Uh, all right, now, 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 do, now do the cartwheel. <laughs> I'm ready. Oh. Can you do it? Jackie, can you do a cartwheel? Jackie, cartwheel. No. Jackie, do it. Cartwheel. I'm like, no. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> no. Who wants a two person cartwheel? Oh, it's not a cartwheel. I'm doing something gymnastic. Yeah, we want to see some gymnastic stuff. Okay, well, I, I haven't done it in years. It's okay. Come on. I'm not here to judge. Front back flip. Yeah. Back? No, that's a round. Oh. oh! Dang! <laughs> Dang! Now wear a helmet. I didn't bring any Yeah! Her wheel. Dude, just great, great ideas for after dinner. Oh! No. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Jackie, you gotta do that! some quick photos and after that on the way we go good morning everybody day three of this trip in the island and we're actually heading out of the uh, campsite that we stayed at honestly the last two days was uh, really Actually, just yesterday was very uh, chilled and refreshing, uh, very relaxing to be honest. And uh, yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, just hanging out and I don't know, just taking uh, taking our time, you know, like uh, basically on vacation. So yeah, we're actually back on the dusty road here, and we're taking our time to get back to the main road, uh, head into our next campsite. So yeah, we're meeting Jack before we get to our second campsite today. Uh, I believe uh, a couple of people are um, heading home today. Alan and Christina are heading to the mainland, back to the mainland. And I believe Logan, our leader that got us to this first spot, is actually heading home as well too. So yeah, we kind of are gonna, you know, figure it out where we're gonna be going camping. But I, I believe Jackie already has an idea on where exactly we're going. Uh, we kind of did talk about it last night while before we had head to bed. So uh, we'll, we'll see, we'll hammer that down before we start heading down uh, away from the northern part of the island. Anyway, so I'm gonna keep on driving. Uh, it's gonna be uh, quite of a bit of a ride uh, to get to the trailhead. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights Oh <laughs> Uh, I don't know Ask the other guys And I I really wanna know Falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high 
Even if the sky is falling down drive down is as just as good as the drive up and seeing the um, the scenery on the opposite end of this drive is yeah something to, something to really remember at definitely planning to maybe come back here one 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 day again uh, it'd be nice to visit this area and probably spend a little bit more time on some spots uh, we only went to one spot for our campsite uh, in this area so and I've actually seen a lot of like uh, trails along the way that I was like, oh, I wonder where that goes. And you know how it is when you go on trails. Unfortunately, um, Jack and Rach won't be joining us uh, due to uh, miscommunication between the group and Jack and Rach. I guess things kind of changed uh, as planned. We were planning to find a first campsite closer to the ferry and then uh, head to our first camp, uh, actual for, uh, second campsite, which is our first campsite in this trip. But unfortunately, uh, yeah, miscommunication happened and uh, Jack and Rach won't be joining us for the rest of the trip. Weather right now is really, really nice. Uh, it's about 20 degrees outside and uh, super sunny. Can't wait to get to the second uh, campsite and you know visit more of the island. Um, yeah. See you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so we actually just topped off our gas and we're actually on our way to Elk Falls. I believe most of us haven't been there yet, so um, for me personally, I haven't been there, so. Uh, It'll be a nice spot to check out. I'm gonna take you guys with me and let's go check it out. couldn't find Elk Falls and we just decided to go to our campsite now back on the dirt road where it's super dusty <laughs> it's about 653 right now almost seven o'clock perfect time for us to find our campsite and get settled for tonight anyways guys I will catch you guys in a little bit once we're at camp after driving for a bit Steve radioed in that he passed by a deer so I had to go see for myself Hey guys, so uh, sorry I haven't been filming much. We're trying to find a spot uh, for tonight and we're having troubles actually finding our campsite. So we're gonna keep on continuing finding one and I'll probably check up on you guys once we find one. I don't know how much filming I'm gonna be doing. Uh, the road is very dusty, so I'd rather just be safe and uh, just chat with you guys once we get there. Anyways, see you guys in a bit. After multiple failed attempts of finding a campsite near a lake, we all decided to just camp at this trail right off the main FSR. Thank you. 
You're good. You're good. Driver, driver, driver. Easy, crazy. So easy. It was pretty late when we got to camp, so we just quickly set up and called it a night. Good morning, guys. Beautiful morning right now. Day four. Yeah, I didn't get to film too much after we found this little campsite here. It's temporary. Uh, we just needed a spot to actually camp for last night. And uh, we're probably going to try to find uh, another campsite for tonight. Unfortunately, it was a Saturday and almost all the campsite uh, around this area was already taken. So, yeah, we're going to be finding a new campsite later on. Probably going to make some breakfast and, uh, yeah, get, get ready for the day. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I'm not even hungry. Uh -oh. Uh oh. After eating breakfast, we quickly packed up and back on the road we go. the dirt road which means we're back on dusty roads again and it's definitely been hard to you know <laughs> drive on it for the last couple of days so uh, but I heard the destination or the campsite that we're going at is actually gonna be worth it it's gonna be near a beach again which is awesome because uh, the weather right now is really hot it's about 31 degrees and yeah need to cool off uh, it's about 2.30 in the afternoon. We're just driving along, uh, I guess, the main FSR for this spot that we're trying to get to. And yeah, just can't wait to uh, camp out soon and set up for the rest of the day. Anyways, guys, need to drive a little bit better uh, and safer, and I'll uh, catch you guys in a little bit. <laughs> Hey guys, uh, just finished swimming at the lake and uh, waves are actually crashing pretty strong right now. Um, last night uh, for this trip, so um, just gonna try to enjoy it even more. All set up right now. I'll show you guys how the campsites look in a short bit and after that I'm gonna start cooking dinner. Just right by the water and uh, I got Jackie over there. And the rest of the crew are over on the other side, you know, uh, all setting up right there, getting their dinner ready as well. Yeah, my setup right now. Already see all right throughout the trip, just right here, right by the water, and getting that fantastic view right there. Other than that, just about to cook dinner and uh, uh, enjoy the rest of the night.
While editing this video, all the memories of this trip started flooding my mind. It's one of those memorable trips that you'll be talking about in years to come. It's definitely one for the books. Just going back to what I said earlier in this trip, with all the negativity surrounding this pandemic, it also had its positives. If it wasn't for this pandemic, I would have never gotten into exploring parts of BC, which meant I would have never met all these wonderful individuals you see on this trip. Personally, that would have sucked, because not only are we all good friends now, as Vin Diesel would say, we're family. Here's to more epic adventures in the future, everyone. I can't wait to share more memories with you guys. <laughs> so, yeah. I unlocked the beast mode. Good morning, guys. Uh, day five, and this is pretty much the last day for us. Uh, this is going to be mainly just driving to the ferry, so I'm probably just going to end the video right now. Thank you so much for watching. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, it's not, it's not the most like craziest trip ever but for me it is uh, I've never been to the north side of uh, Vancouver Island so uh, definitely enjoyed it um, I'm really looking forward to maybe coming back here again uh, to check out other places uh, I would have loved to have gone to Tofino which is uh, another spot that I've heard is really nice and beautiful um, but yeah I think that will do it for this video guys if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel. Truly appreciate everybody that has have subscribed. I have this goal of mine to uh, reach a thousand subscribers. So if you guys can uh, share the video and to anybody that's interested in watching um, type of content that I produce, uh, please do so. That would I would greatly appreciate it. And already, thank you so much for the people that have already subscribed. Also, hit that notification bell so you guys don't miss any future videos. Until next time, guys, like always, stay awesome. One more. That boat guy is not. Yeah. Oh, no. We're all, we're all, we're all. <laughs> <laughs>